Good evening guys, Vez here. Tonight I thought I would do a quick tip on how to synchronize your motors. In new way, I know I had a video already showing you how to do it, um, but it was when we were using motors that had a flat spot on the shaft, a D-cut spot. Um, now we're using round shaft motors, so you can tighten the pulley on, on the motor shaft anywhere you like and you're good to go. So it's a lot easier to sync the motors that way. So I'm going to show you a way to do it now because all the VZBot kits come with those motors so it's 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 easier to do it that way. Um, if you're on a 235 it's a lot easier to gain access to the grub screw on the pulleys from the front. If you are on a 330 it's a lot easier to gain access to the back but unless you want to do it to the front it's it's up to you as long as you do it either two fronts or two rear uh, you're going to be good to go. So what I do to make it a lot easier, um, instead of activating motors by uh, a command enable stepper, what I do, I'm going to activate motors by just using the home X. I'm just going to own X. So X going to home. All right. And then that means all motors are activated. The gantry is locked in place. All motors are uh, on. So now we just need to access the grub screw in front here but you can see I can't I can't access it right now and on the other side I can't access it either so to gain access to that grub screw it's very easy you're gonna have to move your your print head on X either by one millimeter or five millimeter I like to do five and then if I need I can do one millimeter at a time but I'm gonna move the print head by five until it gets me access to that screw. There we go. I can do this one now. So I'm just going to loosen it up. That one's loosened. I'm going to check the other side. Do I have access? No. So I'm going to keep pushing X by five. Now it gets me access to that one. That one's loosened. I'm going to keep moving by five. All right. Now I can loosen that one also. And I'm going to check on the other side. It went a little too far, so I'm going to go one millimeter minus one until it gets me access to this guy. All right. Now, both motors are loosened. So it means that the belts have taken its natural place based on the rear motors where they're positioned. So we can tighten them up again. So we go tighten this one. Check the other side. We can't access it, so we're gonna go uh, the other way. Move by one millimeter until you can reach one or five millimeters. All right, that one's tightened. I'm gonna go plus five or minus, sorry. All right, now it gets me access to the second boat. Well, it's a little too long, so... Well, you get the point. You get that. You move it until you can reach the grub screw. That's it. That side is done. And on the other side... Like that. Maybe one more. Then I can tighten this guy now. There we go. It's now all sync and it's ready to go. Um, a quick way to verify that is to disable motors. So when you disable motors, it should be very quiet. You should not hear a loud tuck. So let's do that and listen. Did you hear that? That was just a tiny tick. Um, so that's another way of knowing if you're out of sync. Just home the printer. Don't let it set up against uh, the X uh, stopper, the, the, the X stop switch. Just home and then maybe move it one or two millimeter or five millimeter. Then disable the motor and pay attention to the sound. If it's a loud tick, it's more than likely that you're out of sync. So do this. It takes about one minute, less than one minute to do. And you're good to go. Once you've done it, run an input shaper test to make sure it stayed good, that you have good measures. And then you're ready to print awesome things. So have a good one. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.